lovers of the tarot. So we have the reversed Queen of Pentacles today came up. And I'm going to do a quick 90 second review and try and keep it brief so that you can understand some of her qualities in a short amount of time. So, so this is that nurturing part of ourselves, this queen is. She's very feminine, she's very in, inward going, she's very focused on the material, the physical, our physical body, our health and our wealth. She will be very much focused on the things that she has around her. She will be attached to those things because of this negative upside down dynamic that we're looking at. She might be over attached to maybe addicted to some things on the physical level. She's very uh, obsessive about how things look and how things are comfortable for her. This might create codependency type relationships between herself and the world on the outside. She is that part of us that's very caring and loving. So when that becomes a little bit exaggerated, we might not love ourselves enough. We might not care for ourselves enough or we might over care. This sometimes comes out in selfishness on one front, but also uh, or overly selflessness as well, where we, where we just live our lives through somebody else, for example, and, we, and our joy comes and our ex love comes through somebody else's experience. This can be the smothering mother type energy as well, where we don't allow, um, where we're holding on all the time and we're not letting go. There is this attachment dynamic, which is quite needy on one front and can be a little bit greedy on another front. There's sometimes a self-judgment story towards the body that we need to overcome by loving how we look, loving how we are, loving ourselves. Otherwise, this will be a self-fulfilling prophecy that we don't need to propagate more of and practice self-care in a more balanced way. Have a look at your practices of self-care and see if they can be more even, more balanced, more middle path-ish. Have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoy this video.